Now, what is the result of those commands? Paul builds this naturally into the text. And in verse 2 he says, So that by the testing you might discern what the will of God is. That is, that the will of God for your life is to die to yourself, not give in to your fleshly desires, but to serve him and everything else will fall into place. The Bible tells us that if we seek the kingdom of God first and his righteousness, then all of these other things might be added unto you. If you are struggling right now to figure out maybe what God wants you to do, whether that's a big decision coming up you have in regards to schooling, financial, personal, within your own life, and God, I don't know what you want me to do. Show me what you would have me to do. I think Paul clearly states in this verse that God's will for a believer is to follow his commands. And when we follow in God's commands, he will lead us into what he has us to do. And on the flip side, we say, oh man, I don't know what God's will is. Well, ask yourself the question, am I living for God? Or am I living for myself? Because if I'm living for myself, I'm not doing what God wants me to do. So how do we expect God to show us what his will for us is? But if we are following the commands that God gives us, like dying to ourselves, not being conformed by the world, but allowing the Holy Spirit to transform us, that is when we are able to discern what God would have us to do as Christians. And mainly that is to follow him each and every day.